Hey, 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 y'all. It's your girl Evelyn of The Evelyn Inc. And I am back with another video. So in my last haul video, I mentioned that I spent the majority of like the last half of 2020 and the first half of 2021 on kind of what I call my this like my curate your beauty project. And one of the things that I wanted to do in that process was to find a new signature scent. So to give you a little background information before we get into uh, what I'm doing right now is that in 2016 I was diagnosed with cancer and one of the big things about being diagnosed with cancer is the toxic load on your body. So that could be that's your beauty products, your makeup products, you know, your skincare products, things like that. And one of the big no no's for me at the time was fragrance. Now I have kept the majority of my skincare, body care, candles, hair care, you know, deodorant, toothpaste, all of that pretty, you know, clean beauty brands, clean products, things like that. But there was a couple of areas where I told myself, I said, you know what, I, I girls got to have a little bit of fun. And not that I don't have fun with my clean products. Let me, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to say that. But um, I really missed having a scent, right? And so I wanted, so all my scents were gone. I had gotten rid of all my scents back then. And I really wanted to upgrade my sense. And so that's kind of what I've been on the mission to doing. I am just now getting into the world of like designer fragrances and niche perfume houses and things like that. And so I've spent a couple, a little bit of time, not a ton, um, on Michelle Wong's channel, who I, I love her channel, and um, Kelsey Brianna J. And just on some of their scent recommendations and a few other things that I've had online. So this is just to get me started, right? So what I've done is I've gone through a couple of different brands and ordered their discovery sets. Now on one of these brands, you're gonna see that I think I ordered their travel set uh, because it was like 50 or 60% off and it was basically the equivalent price of a discovery set, and, but much better. So let's start with the first discovery set which is from and i may butcher some of these names so bear with me which is from perfumes de marley so i heard a lot about the delina delina scent and so i picked up their discovery set Ooh, oh hold on which comes with a little it comes with a little booklet okay uh, which I think is really really nice um, and it's in multiple languages and it has like their different scents and the notes and things like that I just think this is great and so you get a sample size of each one of these and so for me um, you know my local Sephora's and Saks's don't carry all of the scents but they carry some of them and I didn't want to be driving from store to store particularly last year so some of these I ordered at the end of last year, beginning of this year. And so I've been trying these out. So Parfums de Mali is one of the first fragrance houses that I ordered a discovery set from. Now, I I ordered this even though I actually own the full-size bottle of, of a perfume from this brand, which is Maison Francis Kirk Jen Paris. Did I butcher that? Okay, I already have Baccarat Rouge 540, a really good friend bought it for me as a gift and so I still ordered the the discovery set which I have not even opened because I wanted to experiment with some of their other fragrances and let me know if you're like me like going into you know the perfume counter uh and smelling the fragrance is one thing I need to see how fragrance wears on me how does it change throughout the day and so I really enjoy discovery sets so um I have I have this now I will say I have these all like in a tub <laughs> like in a drawer where I keep where I store my makeup because there's lots of fragrance there oh and it came with a little note I don't know if you can see their logo there I haven't opened this yet this is probably one of the most recent ones that I've, I've received um, what I've also been doing is every time I make a Sephora order if they have a fragrance sample as one of the um, samples that you can get I've been picking up fragrance samples again not because I, I don't enjoy having all these little vials necessarily but I do 
it is a great way for me to try out new scents that I may not have thought about or you know may not be what I would think I would enjoy okay so I also ordered a discovery set from Creed okay so um, and I just love how even their dis all these brands their discovery sets are really beautiful so this is from Creed right and I did a um, customizable discovery set where I could pick the three fragrances so I think I picked um, love and black virgin island of water and Adventist for her I have not again I have not tried most of these yet because I really want to sit down and kind of like in my notebook track how you know I enjoy the fragrance which ones I like which ones I don't because there are so many fragrance uh, Set, set, a discovery sets that I have here and my ultimate goal is I want to land on about four to six fragrances so I already have one and I basically want a spring summer fall winter scent like one for each season and then I want like a signature day and a signature evening scent that's about like I don't necessarily want a huge fragrance collection but that's that's kind of where I want to land um, because it's not fragrance is not really my thing the way that makeup is my thing okay so then in the midst of this, um, I came across a brand, I think it was from Michelle Wong and the, or somebody else and I did some digging and I, they sounded really interesting and it is Pen Halligans. Okay, so this is an English brand I believe, yes, because I think this came from overseas and I ordered their portrait scent. So they didn't have their other um, scents in a discovery set, but this is their portrait, discovery, this is their portrait scent library. And I have not tried any of these, but the names are so intriguing. So there's Lord George, Lady Blanche, Duchess Rose, the Duke, Yasmin, um, Constant, Mr. Sam, Teddy, Helen, and William Penhaligon. Okay, so I ordered this set. Really excited to try these out. What's great about these, though, is that it definitely gives you some variety. So even though I will eventually land on my signature scent like if I if I ever want some variation um, until I use up some of these samples then I'll do that okay so next which I 100% blame this on Michelle Wong and it's because the way she described these fragrances from this from this brand I was just like I gotta try it I, I absolutely have to try it so again I am so thankful that these brands have discovery sets because they wouldn't want to buy a bottle, use it and return, you know, use it and return it and then they can't do anything with it. So this brand is called The Harmonist. Okay. And it took me forever to get this because the discovery set kept being sold out. Comes with a little card in here. And then here is the discovery set. And it also, very similar to Perfumes de Marly, has a a little book here that has their different fragrances and the description and y'all listen let me tell you these books this is not in black and white this, these are full color books which I think is lovely okay and so it just it, it has their philosophy in here and also what they're talking about but the main fragrance I think oh oh Evelyn hot diggity dog listen I keep doing this y'all I think it was hypnotizing fire was the one that I was like I need to try this because of the way that this woman has described this so this is the discovery set from the heart this box just smells really good from the harmonist okay and so last but certainly not least this is the brand that I was telling you guys that um I ended up not ordering their discovery set I ended up actually ordering their travel perfume sets because they were on like a 50 or 60 percent off sale and so I thought well this is a better deal than their discovery set because if I ended up enjoying them then I could just um you know go with what I had so and yes I, I'm organizing while I'm talking to y'all let me pay attention y'all listen who is not a beauty influencer okay and this would be again I blame this on Michelle Wong and Kelsey Brianna J is the house of Siage. I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. House of Siage. So I got two. <laughs> so this is the Whispers in the Garden collection. And this is the. 
I don't know which collection this is. So let's open it up. These are the travel sizes. So these are significantly larger than um, your average, average like sample. And so this is whispers of admiration, whispers of guidance, whispers of enlightenment, whispers of innocence, whispers of strength, whispers of fire and whispers of truth. Okay. And I mean, these are glass. These are fairly good size. So literally I'm going to have a great opportunity to really sink my teeth in and try house of Siash to see if I like it. And then with this set, I mean, the, they, they look huge. Okay. So with this one, I have Emerald Rain Benevolence. I have, what is this one called? This was called Tiara. Holiday. Passion de l'amour. Chevauve d'or. Listen, you would think that I would, could, could pronounce these better since I took four years of French in high school and two years of French in college. But that was Chevauve d'or. Chevauve d'or. I don't know. Hope Jou. Nuit moi, Cherry Garden, and Love, it is, it, Love is in the Air. I, I butchered some of these names. I apologize, House of Siage. But I think it was Cherry Garden, that it, which is one that I've already smelled, which I thought, was it Cherry Garden? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll try it today. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Um, this is obviously because this is the travel set. I didn't buy the little travel case because I was like, I'm just trying these for right now. Um, this will really let, give me an opportunity to really, really try these on and really see what I like. But let me know what are some of your favorite niche, niche perfume houses, um, brands, designer brands for fragrance. I, right now I probably don't need um, any more discovery sets, uh, because I just need to work with what I have. But I also really wanted to try by Rado. I did their, like their little quiz or assessment to def uh, figure out like what is a good fragrance for me. And it says pulp. However, here in Dallas, I've been to Saks. I've been to Neiman's. I've been to Nordstrom's. They do not have Byredo at the counter. And so I can't smell it. And I can't get a discovery set off of the Byredo website. And so let me know if you've tried like Bald Afrique or Pulp or anything like that. I think that's a very popular brand is what I'm discovering. But y'all listen, all of these are in my little tub drawer that, that I keep my makeup in. And so I get to try all these out. But let me know some of your favorite, favorite signature scents and also brands and perfume houses below. I will tell you, I do not like florals. I do not like, um, like woodsy, musky, patchouli type scents. And, or, and I don't like cotton or powdery. So like linen or crisp, whatever. I realize that usually if a, if a, if a perfume comes in a blue bottle, I usually don't like it. Um, if it usually comes in a white bottle, I probably don't like it because it's probably got like gardenia or something in it. I prefer fruity, citrus, and slightly sweet scents because, not because I like little girl scents or super sugary scents, but on my body, it, my body decreases the sugariness and the sweetness of a lot of fragrances and it balances out. So I can go very sweet on a scent. Not necessarily sweet like vanilla sweet, but I can go very sweet on a scent, even gar gourmand a little bit, and my body chemistry will break that thing back down and it'll it'll land right where it needs to be. So if something is already a little bitter or sour or masculine, I don't need that because it is my body is gonna be like, girl, no, you wanna smell like gasoline or kerosene, which one, pick one, okay, uh, or straight alcohol. So. Let me know out of the brands that I've shared with you, do you have any of these fragrances and which ones do you like? Or if there's ones that you think I would like based on what I share with you, what are some of your fragrance, favorite fragrances? And uh, yeah, y'all, I hope that you guys are starting to enjoy some a little bit more of the beauty content on the channel. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.